Dumalo at nagbigay ng talumpati si Pangulong Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. ngayong Viernes, October 14, 2022 sa ikawalong Balik Scientist Program Convention ng Department of Science and Technology dito sa Philippine International Convention Center sa lungsod ng Pasay. Binati ni DOST Secretary Renato Solidum ang mga dumalo at pinasalamatan ang mga balik scientist sa kanilang mga kontribusyon sa bansa. Welcome to the 8th Annual Balik Scientist Program Convention with the theme, Balik Scientist, kasangga sa paglinang ng agham at teknolohiya para sa maunlad at matatag na kinabukasan. Our Balik Scientists will be sharing with us today their ideas in promoting innovative, driven development and accelerating scientific and technological innovations in the Philippines. I would like to thank our Balik Scientists for your never-ending contributions to achieving the socio-economic agenda of the Philippines with the support of our President. Matapos nito ay nagbigay ng maikling introduksyon ng programa si DOST Assistant Secretary Lea Buendia at pinasalamatan ng Pangulo sa suporta nito. Sa kanyang talumpati, kinilala at binati ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos ang DOST sa pagdaraos nito ng ikawalong BSP Convention. Pinasalamatan niya ang mga scientist sa kanilang mga naging ambag sa pag-unlad ng science and technology sa bansa. Nais niya ring pagtibayin ang implementasyon ng Balik Scientist Program at magbigay ng mga insentibo sa mga Pinoy scientists at hikayatin silang magtrabaho sa bansa. I congratulate uh, the Department of Science and Technology for being able to hold the 8th Annual Balik Scientist Program Convention. More than anything else, allow me to extend my heartfelt gratitude and from uh, not only from myself but from the entire country for to our scientists for your service to the nation your contributions to the development of science and technology in the country have been truly remarkable it is a very heartwarming to see that you have chosen to return to the philippines to use your expertise to help improve the lives of Filipino people and I know that this decision in many cases has meant a potential loss of opportunities. Let the gratitude and support of your government and our people suffice to compensate for your dedication, service and sacrifice for our motherland. Ang Pilipino naman gusto niyang umuwi. Ang Pilipino hanggat maari. Kung maari ay nais nila na makapagtrabaho dito at makapiling ang kanilang pamilya, ang kanilang pinanggalingan. Ang hinihingi lang naman ng ating mga scientists ay mabigyan sila ng suporta in terms of equipment, in terms of uh, facilities, in terms of funding. And that is again what the Balik Scientist Program is all about. Nais din ng Pangulo na hikayatin ng DOST ang mga estudyante na tahakin ang mga kursong may kinalaman sa Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics o STEM. The Philippines, uh, when we are uh, graded amongst other countries, we do not do very well at all, especially when it comes to science, yung STEM courses na tinatawag. Uh, let, us change, let us turn that around and the Balik Scientist Program will have a very important part to play because we can always present to our young people, our young students, look at this Filipino who has made a name for themselves and who has done a lot of good work and his, good, his or her good work has helped very, very many people. You can do this too. At mag-aral kayo ng science, ng technology, ng engineering, ng mathematics. At uh, that will be uh, that, that role that they will play as a model for our young people is not an unimportant factor. So let us also encourage our young people by showing them what a career in science, re -science, science research and development in uh, uh, what the work that is by, being done by our Balik scientists and to motivate them and to inspire them and to explain to them that you can do this too. At sa isang bahagi ay nagkwento pa si Pangulong Marcos sa kanyang pagiging frustrated scientist daw noon. 
You may always be assured that I and my administration will extend all support in making science and innovation an instrument of progress and prosperity for the Filipino. I suppose with the words that I am saying, you, are, you will be able to detect that I am a frustrated scientist. All my, all my scholastic career was spent in science. And it was only towards the end that it was explained to me by my father that uh, mahirap yung science, hindi ka, hindi ka, hindi ka yayaman dyan. Boy, if he were alive now, I would like to introduce him. I'd like to introduce him to Elon Musk. I'd like to introduce him to Bezos. I'd like to introduce him to Microsoft, to Apple. Uh, and so that is why I, I, I feel very strongly about it. And I know the advantages that science can bring and that the training in the technical, the technical training that our, our students can receive and the advantages they will bring to themselves and also to our transforming economy. Ibinahagi sa BSP Convention ngayong taon ang iba't ibang mga innovation sa mga plenary sessions na may kinalaman sa agriculture, aquatic and natural resources, health sciences, at industry, energy, and emerging technology. Nagbigay naman ng mensahe si DOST Secretary Solidum sa ating mga kababayang siyentipiko na tangkilikin ang Balik Scientist Program ng Bansa. Sa ating mga kababayan, to our fellow Filipinos, the Balik Scientist Program is a very important program that would really be very, very important nowadays, especially on the global problems and national issues that the Philippines is facing. And we believe, and with the total support of the President and his administration, we will further enhance our Balik Science program because we think that through the collaboration of our experts from abroad and our scientists and other stakeholders in the country, we can truly make a difference. So we hope that you can really at least share your knowledge. We want you to have a Balik Puso, Balik Pilipinas, and Balik Scientist mindset. Maraming pong salamat sa inyo. Mula dito sa PICC, sa lungsod ng Pasay, Carlo Luis Candelaria, nag-uulat.